Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about mechanisms of cell injury. You know cell injury occurs via multiple processes. But the major ones to play role here are the mitochondria, lysosomes and the nucleus for extrinsic signals. First of all, we see we have mitochondria which sometimes malfunctions or even gets internal damage and these damages decrease the ATP production. Then it's followed by the increase in the production of ROS that's reactive oxygen species and also a damage is followed by the leakage of cytochrome C. The first two events that is the decrease in ATP and increase in the ROS lead to the cell necrosis. While as the last one that is the leakage of cytochrome C leads to the apoptosis. If you want to see the detailed video on apoptosis and how the cytochrome C aids in the apoptosis you can find the link in the description below. Now we see we have decreased production of ATPs which will directly affect the ATP dependent pumps. So non-functional ATP dependent pumps fail to regulate the normal influx and efflux of electrolytes and water. An increase in intracellular calcium ions activates cytosolic enzymes like proteases, phospholipases, endonucleases, ATPases and many other enzymes which will enhance the mitochondrial permeability. A process called mitochondrial permeability transition which is mediated by the formation of pore complex in the membrane. And this process also leads to the necrosis or apoptosis depending upon the type and potential of the injury. So this is how the cell injuries take place with the aid from mitochondria. Now going to the lysosome part. When there is any kind of lysosomal damage, there will be leakage of hydrolytic enzymes obviously, which will degrade the cellular components also. And eventually there will be necrosis through this lysosomal damage. Another important thing to be noted here is that which are linked with the cellular injuries are the ion channels. These ion channels when unregulated also lead to the mitochondrial permeability transition pore complex formation which will finally interlink all the mechanisms together thereby mediating the cell injury. Now getting to the nucleus. If you look at the nucleus of cell, the persistence of mitochondrial damage leads to either necrosis or apoptosis which is triggered by the leakage of mitochondrial cytochrome. There will be activation of caspases, there will be DNA fragmentation and then other events of apoptosis. And finally there will be damage to the cell through this program or cell death. Now we will see what are the causes for the cell injuries. First of all we have exogenous causes. Exogenous causes of injury include physical injury, thermal injury, radiation injury, bacterial toxicity and environmental injury. Then we have endogenous causes which include genetic defects and nutritional deficiency. The most relevant causes of cell injury are hypoxia which is determined by the decrease in the supply of oxygen and anoxia. So this is a brief overlook of mechanism of cell injury. You can watch the complete series of videos on apoptosis both intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathways by finding the link in the description or in the i button. So this is all about mechanism of cell injury. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.